Hello, welcome to Tech Dive AV Club. I'm Adam, and today we're going to be talking about how to do slow motion, specifically in Vegas Pro 17. So, slow motion is a little different in older versions and newer versions. So, if you have an older version, I will be talking about how to do it in the older versions, but there's also a newer way to do slow motion in Pro 17. And I'm excited to talk about it. So, let's break the ice and get started. Alrighty, so here we are in Vegas Pro 17 doing some slow motion. So you just saw this uh, ice cube splash in slow motion. I filmed that in 30 frames a second, so that there's a reason, or almost 30 frames a second, there's a reason why uh, I use the slower frame rate, because that's more likely what you're going to be dealing with. Uh, it's very hard to get cameras that record in faster frame rates, and uh, it, it's also... Um, to slow-mo guys, you know, they got like really, really expensive cameras and faster frame lengths. So that's really how to do slow motion. Uh, but the uh, reality is is that we're going to be using, most people are going to be slowing down footage caught at about 30 frames a second. And so this is probably uh, the challenges you're going to be facing. So this is why I'm using 30 frames a second footage. Also, I want you to know that uh, there are three different ways to do it. There's one way that's the easy, quick, down and dirty way. Then there's the other way, which is the the more traditional way that works. And both of those work in both versions. And then there's a third way that only works in Pro 17. So we're going to talk about them. So first, I want you to notice that uh, for the simplicity's sake, I have this. I'm going to do the entire clip, including parts of it that I will not be using in the final. So in the final video... There's definitely some camera shake when I'm turning the camera on. There's parts of the shot. You know how it works. There's just parts of the shot that I don't intend to be in the video. Uh, but while you're doing a slow motion, because you're actually changing the length of the shot sometimes, it's, it's easier for our purposes to show you that this is the complete clip right here, and we're going to actually be extending the clip later. So the first way to do slow motion, the easiest way, is just to hit control, the control key, hold it, and stretch the clip out you can stretch it out pretty far and then that will just create a slow motion so first let's watch the clip in full regular speed just so you can get a sample of what it looks like some camera shake here then ice cube then another ice cube and then some there we go more camera shake and it's over so now if I just hold the control key down and then see how my mouse tool turns into the stretch tool that little wavy line goes underneath it that wavy line means I'm gonna be stretching it out and you can stretch it out a lot or a little bit and so if you stretch it out of the way there you go now obviously this is a ton slower isn't that cool watching the light bend that line through the water there boom look at that ice cube just boom so much slower okay so that's the easiest way so if you want it more like a slow-mo guys video though where it suddenly goes in the slow motion and then comes back from slow motion what you're actually going to need to do is set velocity and so this is again this is something that you can do in earlier versions we're not to the 17 only version yet so uh, the earlier version is you can just right click on the clip and you can hit insert velocity now the thing about inserting velocity is is when we change this we're ultimately going to be changing the length of the clip so we're going to have to change the like extend the clip roll it back out as we go so i'm not talking about audio at all but i will do another tutorial entirely about slowing audio down so uh, you'll notice that if you have audio with it it'll just stretch the audio out with what you're doing but if you want the audio there's a hundred different ways to mess with your audio in slow motion um, and and really the slow-mo guys don't even have audio for slow motion they just make sound effects for it and which is what I'll be doing for this shot so um, so first step when you've created a velocity insert velocity when you've got it you got a green line here this green line is the velocity 
and you can double click on it to create a point on this line. So creating points is important and obviously you can scroll in and scroll out to, to see more or less of the clip in the timeline uh, that's standard Vegas. And so what you can do is you can actually speed it up or slow it down this way. The control works that way too. When you crunch it, when you crunch the stretch, that also works. Control Z there, fix that. But uh, to, to slow it down specifically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lower the velocity. Now notice here, it creates like a wave line where it's going to slow it down and then speed it back up. And that's barely anything I did there. So you can actually pick the part where you want it to start slowing down. So let's watch the footage real quick. Right there where the ice cube hits, I want that first slow-mo. So I'm moving these points around. You can move them around or whatever. Notice I've, as you move these points around, I'm accidentally rising it and lowering it as I go. See, when I increase the velocity, I get those notches there saying it's having to repeat the footage to fill that much time. That's what those notches mean. Um, but lowering it slows it down. And I need to right-click on it to get exactness. So if I needed to set it back to normal, I can set it back to normal. Not everything from this keyframe to this keyframe is a normal velocity. Now this one, uh, I can lower it myself and see how it tells me the velocity right here. But what you can also do is right click and you can hit, you can speed it up, you can actually reverse it, uh, you can set it to zero velocity, and you can actually uh, pick pick whether it's half speed, 40% speed, or 20% speed. We're going to go to 20% speed, and then, so let's watch this here. See what happens? There's a lot of my clip missing now, right? Because it's actually now, because we slowed it down, it's a lot longer. So we got to stretch it out, and you can stretch it out really until you see this notch again. That notch means your clip is now looping or repeating. So you can always go back to that notch, that's the end of the clip, and you can watch your whole thing in, in its new slow motion. Now Vegas helps you cheat. It helps you cheat the slow motion problem that you don't have enough frames. And the way it does that best is actually with the Vegas plugin slow motion. So uh, I'm going to hit Control Z until all this is gone. So now what uh, I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to the slow motion effect. So over here, Project Media, Explorer, Transitions, Effects, Video Effects, select slow motion. This only works for Pro 17 again. And then drag it onto your clip. Now here you actually have... You can see I've got a lot of other effects on it, but in your effects change, you'll get the slow motion effect. You can actually make it analyze the clip. Now, I've had the best luck with it, making sure you have the entire full clip already. So don't don't cut it to what you want, then make it slow motion, because that's just not going to work. Grab the whole clip, the very beginning, the very end, all the fat you're going to trim out, and then select fine because there's a big difference between coarse, medium, and fine. You can experiment with that yourself, but fine gives you the best quality. And then hit analyze slow motion, and it's going to render out uh, like you're going to get a render bar. Mine's on my other monitor, which is why you can't see it. And it's going to actually try to create a better interframe for slow motion. So this is one of the effects that has been added to Vegas 17. Alrighty, so now that it's done recording, you're going to see some new options. It's got two different methods, Optical Flow and Morph. Morph will actually try to create new frames, I believe, where it kind of morphs everything together, while Optical Flow uh, really just tries to to help the optical flow out. So these are two different methods for slowing, speeding things up, slowing things down. You can toggle between these methods. Now, another thing I want to show you, let me make this box smaller so you can see what's going on. You can hit clear motion data to do it again, uh, but if you check it out, this clip is not in slow motion. It's very much not in slow motion. And while it's not in slow motion, it's because you haven't actually changed the playback rate yet. So the playback rate is uh, really the same thing we're messing with up here, and you can actually timeline that or, or animate it. So you can start with a 100% playback rate. You can then create a new keyframe, 
Again, if you need keyframing help, check out my keyframing tutorial. It all works the same way. Once you get good at keyframing one thing, then you start learning how keyframing everything works. Um, but the quick synopsis is every keyframe is something Vegas is going to try and target towards throughout the timeline. If you have this selected, this sync cursor to media timeline, you can actually see what part of the uh, video you're manipulating. So you can find the part where the ice cube first drops in. And right there, maybe, let's say I want that's where my slow motion to start. So maybe just before that. So these first two keyframes, see the playback rate is still at one. I can set another keyframe just past it. And then here I can lower the playback rate and it lowers the playback rate of that keyframe. So now the whole first part of the clip is at normal rate. Suddenly it hits this keyframe and it starts to slow down to this keyframe here where it, right now I have it at zero, but really I want it at like 20%. So it'll slow the rest of the clip down 20%. Now you'll notice this timeline didn't get longer, so it's going to cut off earlier. Now, there, you, there's a few things we need to talk about for this, this right here. There's a few things we need to talk about. So first, um, you need to extend this, but don't be thrown. When you extend it, it's going to draw its loop region, um, its looping notches. If, ignore those. For the purposes of this effect, when you're using it in this particular third way, ignore those because they'll just confuse you. So also, I have it on draft because it's doing a complicated kind of complicated layered effect here, and it starts to kind of not show you it in real time. And when that happens, you need to back down the draft so you can kind of see it better. And if you really want to see it, you can pre-render by right-clicking, uh, selectively pre-render video, selecting uh, codec to render it out as, and it will temporarily show you the pre-rendered version of what you're looking at. So uh, right now we're going to go to draft, and you're going to see that it's kind of cartoonish, um, the, way it, the way it helps the slow motion here. You see that? It kind of like warps the glass some. Uh, because it's trying to help create some slow motion effect in between frames that aren't there. And so for some things that you're doing, that might be the absolute best way. This is, this is not the only way to do slow motion, right? But I want you to be aware of this way because some things that might really, really help your slow motion look. And some things like this glass, it might not necessarily help your slow motion look because it might, it might make it look a little strange here. See how the glass kind of warps a little bit? Well, let me start. Yeah, there, there. See, yeah, see how the glass like warps there. So you can try another method, morph, and we can try it with the morph effect here. And that kind of even makes it worse. Uh, so for our particular method right now, I'm going to go with method two to do the final version of this video. But I want you to be aware that this method of this because uh, if, if you're doing something uh, that's more simplistic, so less like water morphing around the screen, more like a car driving across the screen or, or something simple moving, and you want it to look more slow motion, the morph effect might actually really, really, really help it look more slow motion. Or it could make it look cartoony, but it's something definitely to try to get the best slow motion look available. It's certainly a smoother looking slow motion there, but you can tell that it, you can tell something's not quite realistic about it. Something's a little off, especially when I have the preview and draft. So that is three methods to do slow motion, the third of which only works in Vegas Pro. Uh, use the mo method that makes the most sense for your video, and Vegas will do the rest. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you would like to buy the software, if you do through our affiliate links, that's help us out. I do some, uh, I'm working on some Skillshare tutorials as well. If you want two free months of Skillshare, you can sign up through my link, and that will also help us out. And thank you so much for watching. I do multiple videos like this a week usually. Only one video this week, uh, but that's abnormal. Multiple videos like this a week. And then I also do lots of other production stuff too. So if you're looking for a Vegas Creative Software in production, subscribe for more videos like this one. Like if this video helped you out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.